Disappointment for fans of live theater productions. Broadway shows are now canceled through next May because of the pandemic. The news comes after Hollywood's Pantages Theater scrapped its season. KKL 9's Nicole Comstock has more details for us from Hollywood. And I'm not throwing away my shot. If you had tickets to see Hamilton at the Hollywood Pantages Theater this season, you're officially out of luck. Seven months into the coronavirus pandemic, all shows this year have been canceled. The Pantages says Broadway in Hollywood has been working tirelessly to plan a safe return for performers, staff, and audiences. But no shows will go on here until at least April of next year. It's so sad, and they work so hard for these moments. Angela Davis says she can't imagine the disappointment and uncertainty the people behind the scenes are going through. So my heart really goes out to the actors and actresses and the assistants, the directors, the producers. And the industry crisis stretches from coast to coast. I'm away my shot! Broadway will remain dark too. The news from New York announced that shows at Broadway's 41 theaters are postponed until at least next June, putting 97,000 workers out of paychecks. For months now, the organizations representing those artists have called on the federal government to pass an economic relief plan for those now facing six to eight more months of unemployment. The Actors Equity Association released this statement. This is a deeply painful time for everyone who depends on the arts for their livelihood. We are at this moment because seven months into the pandemic, our nation still lacks a coherent national strategy for masks and testing, which could help bring the virus under control. I want to give them hope. Davis wants to save the arts too. She's a writer hoping to turn her book into a movie. They're going to come out stronger than ever when this pandemic is over. Many of these artists have been without work for the weeks now that they really needed in order to qualify for coverage with their union. At the same time, their unions have been fighting for them to have affordable health care. I'm Nicole Comstock, KCAL 9 News.